Hello internet lords and ladies, boys and girls, and welcome to update number 81. So, this is, uh, yep, update 81, weekend of July 10th. We just want weekend right now. I, apparently they've been at hard at work all week. Some interesting cursed spider art where Eyes has the guitar somehow and what looks like a cursed cluster launcher? It could just be a grenade launcher, can't really tell. Anyway. Let's move on. So, they don't really talk about much here. Uh, they just... They're tired, and this is just kind of a hodgepodge update, which is totally fine. Awesome crown selection sounds. Look forward to it. Paul cleaned up some of the interface art in the character select screen. We now have beautiful letters in the nicest spots you've ever seen. Very nice. Two new bullet weapons, the Bouncer Shotgun and Bouncer SMG. I assume that these will be similar to... Um, the new attack that Little Hunter got where he shoots little bouncing bullets so that'll be cool sorry about the squeaky chair it, it doesn't creak as much but if I twist in it, it it squeaks so sorry if you hear any of that <laughs> oh. crowns now have been divided into two groups post and pre loop Ooh, a bit more chicken throw damage because why not good because it's it's still kind of underwhelming a tiny bit more pickup range for ammo and health fuck yeah <laughs> That's awesome. A bit of spawn tweaking. That's always good. There always seems to be just those few times where you just get totally, totally fucked from a spawn. That's something that this game is like forever going to be battling. And I feel so bad for the developers. But it's like, man, it, it's tough. It's tough to make it so that you get a good spawn with good cover. And not a lot of enemies that can just snipe you off the bat. So... Maybe eventually they'll get it down, but probably not <laughs> anytime soon, unfortunately. Flame weapons are now more fuel efficient. I assume uh, flame weapons, you know, fuel efficient doesn't really mean shotguns to me since it's only one or two shells. I assume this means um, f flamethrower and dragon, which is cool. I No one ever really used a flamethrower because it was just kind of underwhelming with its damage potential compared to how much ammo it used, so I could see that totally being a thing. You know, the dragon is really good because its shot speed is so fast, like, the flamethrower is kinda, kinda iffy to me because it just takes so long to get the stream of flames out to actually, like, <laughs> kill enemies that aren't straight in front of your face, but the dragon is so fast, I could definitely see people actually picking up the dragon now, if it's, if it's really that much better, which is good. Little effect and timing tweaking to assassin attacks. Okay, I hope that means a nerf, but I assume that because it doesn't say nerf that it it isn't. Rip. Uh, Little Hunter now only spawns grunts pre-loop. Fuck yes. Oh my gosh. Nothing is more frustrating than Little Hunter. You know, you, you get distracted by maybe a couple snow bots rolling towards you. And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, there's like six shielders you got to deal with along with Little Hunter. Like, it's so, this, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Like, only grunts is really good. Little Hunter now waits a bit longer after spawning IDPD. These are like the two biggest changes. Little Hunter got easier and then got harder and, and like... Oh man, there have been so many changes to Little Hunter, and this, I think, is very good. These two right here is just one of those things that makes Little Hunter less unfair, which is fantastic. Guardian Dogs now have slightly less HP. I suppose this is just supposed to be a joke, the crossed out more, because if it is more, that would be really shitty. Heavy Bolts are now affected a tiny bit less by Bolt Marrow. Makes sense, really. Uh, basically, if you got Auto Heavy Crossbow with Bolt Marrow, that was like GG. So, I, I can totally see that. Hopefully it's not so much, so that it's still like a cool thing to do. But, it's probably good. Crystal's Fortress Ultra now gives her plus 6 HP for when you want to be 10 times more healthy than melting, which is good, because I, I kind of never take it because it's like, eh, it's like a second run of skin. But now it's like, it's, you know, it's only 2 HP difference, but it, I think it could really make a difference overall. Being high on ammo now lowers your drop slightly less. So, this means that when you have max ammo, it, it used to be you didn't get very many drops just because you had max ammo, but now you're going to get slightly more drops when you're having max ammo, or just high ammo, which is good. That's, that's going to prevent people from stacking up ammo at, at all the way up to full and then running out immediately from like a minigun or something, so that's cool. Change plants, 
Trapper Ultra to give you a big snare. Now, depending on how big this is, that could be really cool. Um, like if it's like big dog size, like holy shit, that would be awesome. Still though, I, it's probably could. I think another bonus you could add to it would maybe be like dead deadens enemy movement. Like rats can't go through it because I always see like you could throw out a snare and a rat gets caught on one side of it and he runs through it and eventually makes it to the other side and then it's like oh well what's the point of that you know it's literally called trapper and it's just so like left behind in the dust because of how awesome the saplings one is I forget which one that's called killer maybe yeah I think it's called killer anyway it's a uh, Trapper is not like underwhelming, but if it like deadens enemies, like enemies cannot move through this at all. That would be really cool. Like they can move into it, I guess, and then they get stopped. I don't know. It would be cool either way. Or maybe it makes it so that they can't shoot as fast. Something. There, there needs to be something to make the trapper better. Big snare could be it. You know. Stereo snares was kind of just eh. Like two snares is cool, but not fantastic. But this could be good. Plant thrown but now kills enemies under 30% instead of 40%. That's fine. It's a nerf, but frankly, it was still like insane. Just chopping 40% off like the throne. Like, oh my gosh, that is a huge chunk of like damage to not have to do. So that's that's probably better. Uh, HP drops. HP now drops less the further you loop, which seems like a solid idea. Which is good. It just prevents people from just doing stupidly insane loops. Which is sad for the people that are chasing like super high scores, but I, I think this is probably for the best. Preventing people from having like hour long or few hours long runs is just, it, it's good in my opinion. You know, you gotta make the game tough somehow. <laughs> Shell weapons no longer reduce your sight distance, that's cool. So instead of it like moving the camera closer, it's probably going to be the same range as a bullet weapon. And then like I know crossbows increase your sight distance when you look with it, so it probably just is the same as any bullet weapon. Corpses for snow tanks are back, yay! So now when they blow up, they they stay blown up. Chicken now drops a head when going through a portal, headless, so the camera doesn't stay static. I think that happened to me in one of my videos, and I was like, yo, that sucks. But it like a, none of these changes ever happened because of me, so whatever. Uh, fix the situation where only one portal drags you. Thank you. That one bugged me for a while. Like when you would kill the last enemy in the sewers and then happened to blow up, or like went picked up a grenade launcher and then blew up the the pizza sewers. You could just walk on you like you could walk towards the other portal. Either one of them would have taken you to the pizza sewers once you opened it. But. Like, the other portal wouldn't drag you towards it. It would just be like, you just walk onto it, and then you just disappear, and then you're like, what? Okay, weird. Melting special after death is now the same as when still alive without throne butt. Melting special after death is now the same as when still alive without throne butt. That is a really confusing sentence that I must not have read the first time. Uh, I have no idea what that means. Melting special after death is now the same. Okay, melting special after death, so like when you blow yourself up, is now the same as when still alive without thrown butt. Okay, so you have to have thrown butt to get the special after death thing? That's like a really confusing way to word that, if so. Anyway, mine have fixed the crash where wall collisions completely froze the game. Okay, cool. No more YouTube videos ready to get invisible walls on zero one. I don't know what that means. Um, about invisible walls on zero one. Certainly wasn't me. Turret corpses are stationary now. Okay, it did look a little goofy when they would slide all the way across the floor, and then it was like, wait, wasn't that like a thing that was stuck in the ground? So that's cool. Um, new art for the eraser and the guitar. Yay! I love the eraser. Guitar is. Kind of a rare weapon, but cool nonetheless. New art for when you get killed by lightning underwater. Nice art for YV's giant chests. Cool. New art for cursed ammo drops. Big dog missiles now rotate. That's interesting. Don't they already, though? Oh, I see. There's like a gif for the missiles now. So they'll, they'll like, go towards you, and you can probably see the, like, caution tape change. That is really neat. New sound for the rogue rifle. Yay. 
Throw in golden weapons now sparkle. Jungle bandits now play a pop gun sound. Cool. They do have pop guns, so it makes sense that they play a pop gun sound. And portals are now slightly brighter on the inside. I think you can even tell on this intro right here. Interesting. Okay, so who should I play as? Probably Rogue, just to see what the new Rogue Rifle sounds. We've got to check out the menu to see the new Crown stuff. Um, probably Chicken to check out the throw damage. I'll have to look up the actual like statistics on the wiki later, probably. Um, anything else? Heavy Bolts with Bolt Marrow, that'll be kind of tough to pick. And then just getting like a loop with Plant might not be possible. This is kind of a weird thing to get specifically in a video, so... And plus, it's really confusing. I still don't know what it means. So hopefully, we'll find the Eraser. Um, we could get YV's Ultra. Alright, let's let's go with Rogue, just to hear what the new Rogue Rifle sounds. And then we'll play as Plant. See if I can get the Plant A Ultra and see what the new Trapper Snare looks like. And then maybe we'll... Like, I'll sneak in and edit at the end with the, the art for YV's Giant Chest. Alright, cool. Let's uh, let's close this update log then and minimize it so that I can link to it later in the video without having to look it up on their Twitter again. And let's uh, let's get in. So naturally, I've changed the settings to 42% uh, screen shake, 69% freeze frames, 420, 69 classic memes. That's that's the way the game was meant to be played. Yeah, so that looks a lot nicer. Fish, crystal. Oh, nice. Those look actually really clean. Steroids, chicken, rogue. Nice. Alright, and then post loop stuff? No? Rip. <laughs> I guess we won't be able to see it uh, for now. That's really confusing. Rip. Alright, well, maybe we'll see it eventually. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's hop in. Make sure we don't have a crown selected. Oh yeah, that's, that is much brighter. That looks good, I think. Just sounds even squishier than it used to sound. I like that sound though. Yeah, I like it better. Less impacty, more squishy. I really like that it's uh, completely a different weapon. Like, even though it shoots bullets, it's like not even close to the same weapon. Like, not sounds or impact. I think they're just trying to make it sound like almost exactly like the IDPD guns, which is weird to me that it didn't already sound like like him. But uh, you know, that's cool. So as soon as I die on this run, we'll end it. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll play with plants and see if I can't loop. This may have even be an edited video. Uh, I don't usually do a lot of editing with my videos because I want to get the update video out as soon as possible and it takes like forever to process edits on YouTube since I don't really have an editor on my computer. I guess I can use Windows Media Maker or Movie Maker. Maybe I'll do that. Also, did I really change out a fucking rogue rifle for a wrench? What was I thinking? Oh, rip. What was I thinking? I'm a meme lord. God damn. Just for that, I'm just gonna murder those bandits in cold blood. <laughs> Why did I get rid of the rogue rifle? Alright. You heard enough, that's it. We don't get to hear anymore. <laughs> that's all you get. We tested it out. It's like so not me, because I never ever change out the, the rogue rifle. What a memer. See ya. This is me just trying to die. Like, I don't really want to get a loop with, with the rogue right now. I mean, I'm not going to say no, because it, it's rare. I'll be honest. I mean, we could always, like, try and check out the new Little Hunter stuff. So, I'm not totally opposed with getting a decent run. Rip. Oh, Jesus. I think I smell the new change. To, um... Alright, well, we died. Okay. 
All right, let's do a quick run with plant. Oh, rip. All right, we'll do YV then. And then we'll check out the new Little Hunter stuff. See if I can't find an eraser. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to play as chicken as well. Jeez, a lot of stuff to do. Alright, well then, let's, let's go back to the main menu then and just play as chicken for a little bit. I wonder how much damage it does now. Wow, it kills those in one hit. Do they? I don't think they did that before. They have like way more health than 15 too. This can actually be like decent now. That could be almost as much as like an energy sword. Because I know the one crossbow bolt didn't kill him. Which means this does way more than 20 damage. Even one slug didn't kill it. Does this do like 25 damage now? I need to test on Big Bandit. Throws pierce through enemies. Yeah, why not? Alright, so obviously it still one shots you. Rip, rip, rip. Got him. Nice. Well memed. If I can kill Big Bandit in four hits, that would be crazy. I think the maggots have 25 health. So either I'm full of shit, or Chicken just got a huge buff. Oh my god, it one shot that? No way. That is crazy, actually. That is actually crazy. Dang, four shot him. This is pretty good. I don't know if it actually hit him multiple times. I heard the sound of him getting hit multiple times. But it, it just it just four shot Big Bandit. So it does at least 25 damage per hit. Now, did that say it was just the sword that does that? Let me see. Chicken throw damage. Very interesting. I say we go last wish and we'll just we'll check out the memes over at Meme HQ. The uh the whatchamacallit bandits. Hopefully we'll get to see Little Hunter as well. And then I'll probably just cut to the YV stuff. I'll play a little off camera. That way we can get all of our our shopping done in one go. Who needs who needs guns, right? Or who needs bullets when I've got throwable weapons that pierce enemies? This is crazy. Fuck, I'll take a disc gun. I don't give a shit. I'll just fucking throw my guns. Who needs bullets? Oh, me. I do. Rip. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, and I'll start recording once I get to... Let's see, I have... Uh, I need to make a list. I have to do YV's B Ultra. I need to do. I think it's. No, is it A Ultra? Maybe it's just B. I don't remember. <laughs> One of his Ultras, whatever that takes you to the new chest. I need to do chess. Plant. <laughs> and I need to go to the Little Hunter and then the, the Jungle. Alright. <laughs> See you like half a second after I press this button. Bye. Hey, I'm back. So, first couple things. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So, I, I was gonna show you two things at once, but I died immediately. Anyway, the last thing I was gonna show you was that the eraser is cool, but... And also, I was gonna show you these rotating missiles, which I'll show you now. Hopefully, I don't die. But, uh, yeah, here you go. Sorry for the window sounds. Look, there they go. They rotate. Ooh, shiny. I mean, they're not that shiny, since they... They just rotate. Anyway, maybe I'll get another eraser so I can show you again, but that seems highly unlikely, seeing as I didn't go to the turtle caves again. Anyway, look! Ooh, how cool.
sweetheart. Oh look, bolt marrow. And heavy crossbow. Yay, now I get to show how they don't home as well. This is perfect. It's like I get to show every patch at once. It never happens. It seems to <laughs> seems to home pretty well to me. Rip. Alright, well anyway, <laughs> there's that. So I'll be right back with more stuff. Hey, I'm back. So, we're about to fight Little Hunter as soon as I pick a mutation. I think I'm gonna go with Rhino Skin. I've got a decent setup here with an auto crossbow and a double flame shotgun. Time to just clear out this area. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Too much screen, screen shake. Die, Little Hunter. Oh, you are not sneaking up on me, Mon Frere. Yep, so that is definitely just... Grunts. Well... He only spawned one set, but there you go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that'll be it for now, and I'll come back to you if I loop with this one, and we can hopefully see that fancy chest. Hey, I'm back again. So this is actually the same run. I might I might die to some explo freaks, actually, like as soon as I unpause the game, but there is a turret, so hopefully I can kill it and then not see the corpse fly. Corpse didn't fly. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I'm back. I did actually loop that one. Yay. So now we get to go check out the new stuff. Ooh, they are fancy. Big old winged chests. That's an interesting spawn for that as well. Alright, let's see what we got. An ultra shovel. Yeah, I'll take that. Minigun, jackhammer, ultra grenade launcher is fun. Gatling slugger. I really like my Seeker Shotgun, though. Hmm. I do have Laser Brain, so maybe the Laser Minigun could be good. God, this, this level has the best music in the game. Both, both sets. Gatling Slugger. Lightning SMG. This could be fun. So now I guess we'll get an extra meme here as I uh, ultra revolver minigun I really like ultra shovel lightning SMG I don't have any other weapon specific mutations trigger fingers with this shovel is gonna be insane so yay yeah I barely made it work against the throne I almost died I had to pick up my double flame shotgun back up it was crazy anyway we'll get on out of here nice chain reaction of the cars Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot we actually end up going back in here. Holy Jesus, this thing is quick. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't have any reds because I just got the ultra. Rip. Jesus. This is quick. I may end up cropping this run if it goes on too long. We'll see, it'll be fun though. This really didn't take me very many attempts, which is good though. That means that, uh... This... That means this update's not BS. <laughs> not easy, necessarily. But not BS either. I wonder if that counts as getting that golden crossbow. I don't know. Oh my god! Trigger fingers with the ultra shovel is insane. Well, YV with the ultra shovel with trigger fingers is insane. So those bullets actually shoot bullets <laughs> when you loop with uh not with YB, but when you loop and you fight and you fight Big Dog, which is cool. Something I don't, I didn't see the first time it happened. Oh yay, dragon! All right, let's check out the dragon actually. Um, we'll leave behind the ultra shovel. As as crazy as it is, I don't have ex I mean long arms, so 
And I'm, I keep running out of rads. Plus, I gotta check out the cool new stuff. Alright, let's see how viable the dragon is. Oh, Jesus, just die already. Oh, man. It feels really good. I mean, it's also, like, really laggy, but that's just because of this guy right here. This memer. This ultra memer. Oh, my goodness. No. Cut, cut it out. That's weird. Even though I, I pretty much consider the, uh... The dragon to be like a triple... Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't die! I consider the dragon to... Oh, Jesus. Well, that didn't help. I consider the dragon to pretty much be like a triple machine gun version of the, uh... Whatchamacallit? It, uh... It doesn't actually... Oh, I guess I gotta keep this. Alright, well... Rip dragon, I suppose. Gotta see if there's any new things to show other than, like, plants. Should have kept that ultra shovel, huh? Dragon feels good now, though. It really does. I mean, I had to, like, unload the entire thing into the hyper crystal, which is kind of a bold sponge, so that's not really showing it off fair, I think. Alright, let's get, this, get rid of this stupid thing. There's probably someone up here. No, it's a Magaden up here. I see it. Alright. Give me that dragon, baby. We'll make this work. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I remember when we had, like, overloading amounts of ammo from the thingy? Oh, what the fuck? Why Why don't we have... No! Alright. <laughs> Catch you when I'm looping with plant, I guess. Hey, I'm back. So I actually found one of the new guns. It's the Bouncer Shotgun. And it uses bullets. So we are going to test it out. There's actually no art for it, which is really weird. Yep, it does exactly what I thought it would. It shoots the fancy, uh, bouncy bullets that a uh, little hunter shoots now. This is really cool, and also really confusing. So this is basically just the gun that little hunter has. Well, his fancy one at least. The one that shoots the bouncy bullets. So it's cool. I got it right after Big Dog. I, like, just got it. Actually, it looks like the gun works, but you can't see it on the black background. It's like there's not enough lighting behind it for some reason. I think they just like messed up the layers for the outlines or something. Or forgot to put a white outline behind it, maybe. Anyway, it seems kind of underwhelming, but it looks cool. Overworld-wise, I mean. It's really slow, though, to kill stuff. And it doesn't seem like the bullets do very much damage. Rip. At least I got some shells, though. So I guess we'll just keep going. I do have Last Wish, so I can actually just go straight to the thingamajoo. See ya! Nice! And we got to max HP. So, I guess we'll just listen for their pop guns. Unless we just murder them. You know, that works too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pop guns away. Cool. Alright, well there you go. They have pop guns. Um, wow, it takes more than three bullets to fire. That's cool. Alright, so... Well, I guess we'll just keep playing with this new gun. and see. Ah! Bush Assassins. 9-11. Etc. I feel like there's just too many jokes waiting on that. Wow, their pop guns are insane! So it takes like four bullets? Seven bullets! Oh my gosh! doesn't even do that much damage, what are you- Oh, we're dead. We are dead and a half. Oh, why do you like that, Bush Assassin? What's up? Oh, that was a Bush Assassin, I saw him! Alright, well I should probably not do that. Here, we'll keep this guy. Wow. Those guys shoot maggots? Oh, rip. <laughs> well. There you go. Um, I'll be back with the plant B A Ultra. Yeah. Hello, I'm back again. I found a bouncer SMG. So let's see what this is. It seems all right. I don't know. 
I don't really dig it. It's really hard to shoot. I mean, bouncing bullets is cool and everything. We'll just... I'll just keep playing with it. Maybe I'll loop with it. I don't know. We'll see. They seem to get stuck in corners a lot. Like, I can't really shoot anywhere near a corner. They... Oh. It's bad. <laughs> the bouncer weapons suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Flame Beer. Oh my gosh. Hello, finally I'm back. Sorry. Oh, I had it one time. I seriously... I had it, and then I died as soon as I got the Ultra to a sniper that I hit in the face. Ugh, anyway, we're back. Big snare. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. That is a huge, that is a big dog-sized snare. Holy shit. That is a useful freaking snare. Oh my goodness. That is dope. That is extremely dope. Oh my gosh. That is cool as heck. Wow. Wow. Is most definitely a big dog sized snare. Holy crap, I can't believe they actually did it. Anyway, I've got recycled gland and everything that makes a run excellent. So there you go. I can't believe it's so big! And it's way better than just two snares. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You could stop the hyper crystal with that. I mean, like the whole hyper crystal, if you timed it right. I should really be using this gun more often because oh Jesus! Well, rip. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this. Um. I couldn't find the eraser again, but we did find the two new weapons. I found the two new ultras changes. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this episode. If you did, you should consider uh, liking the video if you if you really did enjoy it. And consider subscribing to my channel where you can find weekly updates like this every time the update comes out, as well as weekly content about the update uh, every day at noon central time, my time. Anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. One last thing. So, there's a new crown selection sound, apparently, that I forgot about. It was, like, the first thing in the update log, so naturally it was the last thing I would remember. Crown of protection. Okay, so there's now... Oh, this is what they meant. Okay, so instead of it being four crowns per each, it's these crowns for the beginning, and then the other crowns for the end. Alright, so crown of death, crown of guns, crown of hatred, crown of destiny, crown of curses, and crown of protection. So these five, these... Six. <laughs> These six are the pre-loop mutations, which is interesting because that means you can't cheat with Crown of Destiny, which I guess makes sense. You know, they want it to be like actually a choice, not just like get a free free mutation when you're all done getting your mutations in Ultra. So that makes sense. Um, Crown of Curses I really like as a pre-loop, um, and then I'm sure the post-loop is like Crown of Blood. Like obviously they couldn't take that out because it makes sense to be there. The other ones I don't really know. Crown of Luck, I guess, makes sense. Rush Crown sort of makes sense. Uh, anyway, let's just take uh, Crown of Curses. Whoa, that was cool. I wonder if they're all like that. Anyway, that's that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.